Welcome back to another online drummer.com drum lesson. I'm Nate Brown, and this drum lesson is all about that bass. You can get the free sheet music for this at online drummer.com or in the link below. And today's lesson is all about that bass because uh, D Drum sent me new double bass pedal as well as uh, a new hi hat. Thanks, Felix. Thanks, everyone there at D Drum. If you're not familiar with this pedal, it's called Mercury by D Drum. It's very cool. I played it at NAM. I mentioned how I liked it, and here it is now. So if you go out and you get a, a double bass pedal, uh, there are certain patterns that come up very often. And these patterns are used in advanced situations as well as the beginner. With double bass, a lot of times it's just the, the faster you get it, the more advanced it is. So this sheet outlines some of those most common patterns. Take a look at number one. I wrote it in two ways. Number one and number two are the same pattern, except number one is written as eighth note triplets. So this pattern is just snare, kick, kick, snare, kick, kick, snare, kick, kick, snare, kick, kick. Now you can move that around to any drum. Number two notates it as 16th note triplets, so it's going to be faster. That's not faster. And you can move it around to any drum. Now, as you keep working with this pattern, your body's going to get used to it, and you'll be able to get faster and faster. Number three. This is uh, one that people often confuse with number one. Number one was real smooth. It's number three... We have a one and a two and a three. And when you speed that up. So it's not even notes like one and a two and a da 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 like a gallop. The next pattern has two on the hands and then two on the feet. Right, left, right, left. And then number seven and number eight are just straight back and forth. And that's cool to move around the kit too. So once you learn those patterns, it's important to be able to apply them as a drum fill. So I gave you some options below. So number nine, just look at the drum fill at the end. One and two and, and here's where it starts. This is from number two. Notice I, I made the numbers three and four and bigger. One and two. And when you speed that up, one and two and three. number ten is that more that gallop. So three E and a four E and a. And number eleven, each time you hit the snare, it's going to be on the eighth note. So three and four and. And number twelve, I like a lot because it, it gives you more options with the symbols. If I just hit the symbols on three E and a four E and a one. You know, whatever combination, maybe I'll loosen the hat a little bit and get that in there. You know, it doesn't sound that good, but when I add the bass drum to it, it gives it a kick. So when you start mixing in all these patterns as you get used to them, you, you can come up with some pretty cool double bass grooves. I'll goof around a little bit. And that's how you can get your band members mad at you, but uh, it's a lot of fun just to goof around. So I hope you have fun exploring these patterns and getting better at them. There's a lot you can do with them, and it's not only a you know heavy metal, death metal thing. More and more of these patterns are showing up in uh, rock music and pop music. Maybe not as much pop music, but definitely rock. Have a great week of drums. Check out uh, Patrick Marsapoy's lesson on Wednesday, Alex Ribchester's on Thursday, and then we have some new sheet music coming up throughout the week. See you next Monday. Keep drumming.